there was a certain lady, kind of lady we were told we need to discuss today. <laughs> because your men don't know how to deal with you. Imagine. They are called Madame Washerehe. Good morning. Madame Washerehe. That is all we are talking about this morning. Your men have got no idea how to deal with you. Hata wakifunga. Tupige sherehe. Wa mapiano. But that is today's woman. Sherehe, sherehe, sherehe. Road trips. More and more ladies are doing that nowadays. You've got more money. Paka jabo jabo wako na nini yao. Nani? Package yao. Yes. Yes. Bonfire. There is a package for ladies. But you men don't know how to deal with you. Wanaita squad. Yeah? Yes. Wakutana mi wanafaa kumumunya kama mshara kangu kote. <laughs> Ewe, nikimbizu huko na basa kila mahali. <laughs> oh my god. What At is... what point do you stop sherehe? Sasa useme now you want to settle down. Mutu ndio huyu. How do you detach yourself as a lady from your squad now you want to settle down? Sasa nataka kuolewa. I want you to define settle down. Settle down ni sasa kupata mtu mmoja eh. ambaye utakuwa submissive to. No, but they already have that man. Eh? The sherehe is part of their lifestyle. Eh? Why should she stop okay. her sherehe because of a man? Okay, okay, also right. Na watoto na CBC She's going out on the weekends and maybe once during the week. Eh. Akiao. Eh? She's only going out on the weekends and maybe once during the week. Do you realize when you settle down with someone? Eh? There's part of you as a lady. And you need to Africa a sacrifice. Do you need to institution? Marriage institution. Not marriage sere. Is marriage institution. Ladies, would you give up your lifestyle because of a man? You know when you institution you take rules, eh? Yeah? To kokwa institution. Ni mzuri sana you understand you underline you. So okay, what do you want her to do? When you okay, a union. It's a union. It's a I union. agree, but they all, a lot of them are married. Na ndio nakwambia sasa kuna sheria na kanuni za kufuatwa kwa hii union kwa hii institution marriage institution huh? <laughs> It's the well, new lifestyle of today's what woman Wacha mambo ya new lifestyle Kwanza today ladies kuiva tanz one there's a sheree there mm, There's a whole weekend by the way Ebu go there Why would you expect your woman to change her lifestyle for you Maina, there are rules and uh, regulations. What rules do you want her to follow? Zabwana yake. Hey. Zabwana yake. Ladies, give me a call on 071 Na hiyo maina, wacha kuignore ni kama ilipitwa na wakati. Now that one is still there. Today's woman. That one is not outdated. Today's woman. Man being the head is not outdated. You being humble to your uh, husband, that will never be able to date. But she's humble and she obeys it's, you. It's submissive. It's, it's, In fact, no humble is submissiveness. It's, it's, you, you being submissive. It's just that she goes out on the weekend. What's wrong with that? Sasa, buwanake. Hakuna buwanake? No. Sasa, unaona. Don't mix issues here, man. Ibu, give me a call, ladies. 0711-046105 is my number. Na, na, usijaribu kupang nda watu mpembe, man. No, I just... We are going through a very difficult time as men. I need you to give me a call, ladies. Would you give up your lifestyle because of your man? She settled down with a man. But they're settled. It's just that she goes out on the weekend. What's wrong with that? Tavia, tavia. And maybe once on the week, during the week. On ladies' night. Kwendi nini baya na iyo? Peke yake. No, with her squad. Ha! <laughs> uh. Because your men don't know how to deal with you, ladies. Ebu, give me a call. 0711 is my number. Ah, this hard. Hit me up on my fan page on Facebook. Hit me up on Twitter at It's My Neck Again. Or oh, Classic 105 Kenya. Hashtag is my neck. It's <laughs> not that she's not settled down. She's settled down with you. She'll be there doing everything you expect of a wife. It's just that on the weekend she goes out with her girlfriends. Hmm. Sinaskiza sas. Ah, kiyo. So, mimi nifungue mlangu. Eh? Yeah?
What is she? Nani fanye CBC? Eh? She's there for the kids during the week. Sasa. Nechore River Nile, ndengeneze. With the help of your guardian, your parent. Ebu give me a call ladies. Would you give up your lifestyle for a man? Yeye yuko jere. Hai, let's talk about madem wa sherehe, mamanzi wa sherehe. Women who like their sherehe on the weekend. It's a it's a new era we are living in. Then your men just don't know how to deal with it. What rules are these you're supposed to abide by? That's what I can't get. Jose Wanzuku, a very, very good morning to you, Kiongozi. And Captain Bryo, a very good morning to you, Captain Bryo. David Ogeto of Flowers. Let me just go to your tweets. You're saying for every 100 ladies, you will find only two. Our wife material and submissive. Please define submissive in this kind of world we are living in. Tafadali. What is submissive to you? You know those things have changed, eh? She will be submissive. She will love you. She will care for your children. But she needs her time with her girls. Is that too much to ask? Jacinta Modoni, good morning to you. Frederick Macau, you're saying it matters because a wife, see what clubbing. She's a mother to my kids. You're a mother to Gilby's. Kiangai. Can we redefine what submissiveness is? Because now the environment has changed totally. What do you expect you when you hear the word submissive? James Barak is saying we are not against them kuwa manga, <laughs> but we are saying it's time they knew kuna limits. Limits za nini? She's only going out on the weekend and maybe one day during the week. Kwani iko? You think she doesn't need to network? <laughs> Booster Steve, good morning. Is in today's topic I'm going to follow closely. No comments because it's crazy. I mean, you're talking nonsense. Marriage is not a prison. Jennifer Kanyeri is saying it. They should know things have changed with time. Marriage is not a prison. So, do you understand submissiveness and wife material, in quotes, has changed? And do you understand their new meaning? Hello? Hello, my name. Good morning. Morning, Peter. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. I would never give up myself for a man unless he gives up his for mine as well. Bas, Molimu answer that. Eh, so I had to go out with his boys. I mean, I had to go out with my girls. I need time to discuss things with my girls, as in like marriage life, how the life is. You have a whole day. What we need to change. You have a whole day to discuss that until 6 p.m. <laughs> All day I'm doing my own things in the house. You need to find supper ready. Kuna wataka ni tarezo supper sangapi? Bas. Then at night, I need to relax with my cheeks out. Have some fun. Meet other guys. Know uh -uh. the difference between you and them. Know where to change. Know how to dress you up. Know which cologne to put on you. <laughs> meet other guys. Yeah, social meetings. You never know. I might meet somebody who is going to help us in future. It's not always about love and romance. Exactly. Yeah, you need to be open-minded. Not that you can use now. You think you only talk about love. And sleeping together. You could so meet you need to go out and socialize and meet people. You never know. I might meet somebody who will be your future business dealer. Exactly. <laughs> so, King Angi, be open minded. I need time with my chicks out. Okay. You go out with your guys. I don't stop you from doing that. So, why should I change for you? You make me going out, right? Exactly. So, let me go out. Who may say open minded? <laughs> Be open minded. out na majama. Of course, Lazima, you're meeting chicks outside. Do I stop you? No. Then why should you stop me? Okay, you okay on an inatongozo jib you are mini mrembo ringa na mini. Exactly. Simple. Trust me. Learn to trust me. Learn to trust me, yes. Mm-hmm. Have a good day, Maina. Thank you. Does that make sense to you, Molimu? Does that explain to you? Hey, hey, hey. Meet other guys, open minded. Eh? Is of it on New constitution, yeah, 2020, 2021. Hi, where? Where? Guys, you've heard what that lady has said. I be open minded. I want you to react to her. Do you now understand? Do you now understand why today's lady has changed? And this Shere is part of her lifestyle. Ain't going to change. And I have to be open-minded. Open-minded. Don't always think that she's going to sleep with someone and you see her with another man. Hmm. 
she could meet someone who can help you in the future. Eh? Eh? I love you, gentlemen. Eh? Let's talk. Manzi wa sherehe. Madame wa sherehe. What I'm trying to say is that it's not that the rules have changed. They've just evolved. Today's woman lives a totally different lifestyle from the ones of Tenek in our mothers. Let's be honest. Monique Kim's just saying, ladies, we also have a life after marriage. These men are very selfish and want to stop us from living, yet they continue with their bachelor lifestyle. Absolutely, Kunguru87, a very good morning to you. Kanga Justin Kanga saying, it's simple, you're, you open-mindedly hit on one or two of the squad members. That squad will scatter like dry beans off the pods. Break that squad before you get married, ladies. Why does she have to give up her friends and her lifestyle for you? As who? She will be submissive. She will come and do everything a woman is a wife is supposed to do. But the weekends let her go out with her pals. What's wrong with that? Because she she dey happy. Maureen Mori, good morning. Isn't kuna vitu zingine ni kama ziko kwa damu. Hata ufanye nini mtu hawezi acha. Very good morning to you, Peter Ngethe. You're saying my life will never stop because I've been married. You found me partying, accommodate my lifestyle, or go to church and marry from there. I will not live a boring life in the name of marriage, whereas Yumi is enjoying life to the fullest. As long as I'm giving you the respect you deserve, please don't interfere with my personal life. I'm not a prisoner in your home. Allow me to enjoy my life and meditate. She dey ko api. Eh, sasa. Eh. Let me just talk, ne? Eh? Yes. Ni sina magani yanaona. Is that uh, you she suffering for too much TV? Why? You know I once told you that uh, you are the uh, you are the enemy of these ladies, yeah? You didn't listen to me. Eh. Huh. Why are you lying to them? How am I lying to them? You are lying to them in such a way that who would accept such a thing? Yeah? That in a marriage you're going to meet to meet other guys. Like really? Seriously? You so you go out and meet other women with your boys? We don't go meet other women. Who told you we go and meet other women? <laughs> because I've seen it. <laughs> we don't know. We don't meet other women. You see, you see, the problem is us Kenyans. I don't know. We're just following up. Uh, what is going on in America? Not knowing that you're just following things from them almost blindly. Can you see the divorce rate in, the, in those countries, countries that, are, that are inspiring you? I'm listening to you. Have you ever seen the, the rate of divorce in those countries? For, for, for you now to start following what they are doing now. You could have been a marriage then you go and meandering around uh, at you going with your guys every weekend. Okay, let, let, me, let, me, let, me, let me ask you a question. What? Your wife cannot go out on the weekend with her girlfriends? Who? Eh? Uh, come again? Your wife cannot go out on the weekend with her girlfriends? Why should you, why should you go out? Because she, she needs something. What is she missing in the house? Hey, the company of her friends? Her friends can come over, but there's no way you can tell me she's my wife going out to other people. Ah, that's total crap. I won't even tolerate her. Guy. Yeah? You see, if you're married, stay in marriage. Stop lying to these ladies that you can we can get a man. Maybe if she can just create her own man with a matope and some, something. But you cannot get such a man. That's total crap. And stop telling them to stop living in a fantasy world. That's a fantasy world. You, you can look such... Ah, I'm just totally pissed off with you, man. Okay. Yes. Damn. You cannot get such a thing, really, man. What, what, what are you trying to say? That's a fantasy world. Yeah, they're living in a fantasy world, my friend. They watch soap operas, Alejandro, I don't know who, the let her wife go out, go Katiwa, they will cheat around, then she's like, who she's told like you? Even, but I don't know. What makes you Who's think? Total crap, who, man. No, who, 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 who told you she's going to cheat on you? She's not going to sleep around when she goes out with her she girlfriend. She's going to sleep around. She's not going to drink soup there. She's going to drink alcohol. And I don't know, ladies are weak with alcohol. They're going to probably mess up. That's the thing. It's true. That's the yeah. truth. Stop sugarcoating mediocrity, my friend. Yes. Okay. Yeah. He has a point. 
Yeah, you see, they are not going to drink soup. They are going to drink alcohol. Yes, that's not soup. Yeah. Have you ever seen how they, 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 how they do the, the so-called squad, how they twerk in those clubs? Yeah? You see, the problem is with us, we just like lying to each other, which is not good. Tell each other the truth. They are going to do stupid things in those clubs. They are going to sleep around. They will sleep around. You see? And Naivasha and wherever. Yeah. There's no way you can tell me that you go from Naivasha a man will get you from Nairobi to Naivasha, then you just go and start uh, watching the, the stars there. Yeah? Squad. My friend, man, stop lying to us, man. Stop doing this. These Western things that you're trying to tell us, these ladies will mess up. They will mess up their marriages. Squad. Those squads. Those squads, they will mess you up. Hmm. Okay, but thank you. Bas. You have a good day. Good day. You see, ladies, that's the problem. Uh -uh. Every man imagines that every time you leave the house, you're going to sleep around with another no, man. That, Can you imagine? That man is very realistic. They actually think that every time you leave the house, you're going to sleep around with another man. Akuna. That is what your man thinks. No, hey. What he said, umwende naivasha kuangalia stars. This is true. Dig it, yeah. Ebu called me. What is love? That every time you're not with them, you're sleeping around with another man. Can, can you imagine that's how they think? Imagine that's what they think. And Koi Koi Nange, I like what you've said because you've hit the nail on the head, Kabisa. You just look for Koi's message here. She said, those are the kind of men killing their women. A cheater will always suspect their spouse of the same. That is why they think you're like that, because them, they are like that. Victoria Irene, you're saying, so not ladies peke who misbehave when drunk, men too. It's about an individual, how you carry yourself in everything. You can drink responsibly, but it gets to a point where you've got no control of what's happening to you. Bas, watch nayo. What is crazy is that every man thinks when you're not by their side, ukonanani. Hey, <laughs> my God. Titi Chile is saying Kenyan men think what they do is what women, Kenyan women do as well. And we are the last caller, Kwende Nauko, who misbehaves between a drunk man or a drunk woman. It's incredible, isn't it? Manya. Hello, good morning. Sazo <laughs> Melipata, my brother. Welcome to the weekend. I am good. Uh -huh. Back to the conversation. Yes, please. Bibiako and the Kapati Arudi. Yes. My Nayo Nikama, what I'm done. Quanini, what a Nikubati example. Eh. Nona Ulem Rambuako. Eh. Majawe Nikama Bona Jinx, Shizungu. Eh. You are comfortable living. Yeah. Ako USA, Uko Kenya, Uko Sawa now. Yes. Una only if you would have made a Panyumba. Eh. Unamuka. Eh. Hey. Asubu na muacha kwa nyumba ama naenda shuguli zake mpatani jioni. Eh. Hey. That is the day you will know Kenyan men. Yeah. Wako na wivu. Yeah. Unaimagine akikuambia ati leo ni Friday. Eh. Hey. Ameenda na iwasha atarudi Sunday jioni. Eh. Uh -huh. Will you be okay akisawa baby? Enda. I'm, I'm okay with that. Ow. What do you mean how? Because it's her right. She needs some time with her girlfriends. <laughs> that is the day, Maina, you will believe. Vile vitu kingangi anakuambia hapo ni kweli. That Saturday you won't sleep, imagine. Why not? You won't. Ako wapi, anafanya nini? Kwani lazima awe anafanya kitu? Gai, 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 Maina, Kenyan men, we are, we do. Inyo iwezi wag. Kenya ni meno anataka ule mwaramuke. Yeah. Umetoka jioni umempata kwa nyumba. Yeah. De, ile ya utenaeza enda kubwa sana ni chama once per week ama once per month. Apige mshene huko na mama wenzake ukirudi nyumbani umpate. <laughs> okay. My goodness, I don't know what you're going to do, Kenyan ladies, but I want you to have the final word. Close our discussion because there's something this man just don't get.